I don't know what it is, but rappers these days, they love to talk about Tupac and Biggie, even in interviews. Like the interviewer will ask them something controversial about Pac, and they'll answer the question. Like, for instance, Little Yachty said Tupac and Big overrated. And we're all just sitting there like, what? Like, what do you mean they're overrated? If they're overrated, what are you? It's like that crazy talk, right? The problem that I have, like most of these dudes that are talking crazy about them, wouldn't dare do that if they were alive. The only reason they're talking crazy is because they're dead. Most of these rappers are scared to mention Drake's name on the track. So if they're scared to mention Drake's name, how scared would they be to mention Tupac's name in the era of Tupac and Death Row? And I know you guys heard the story of Shug Knight hanging dudes over balconies. Like, little Yachty will be the first one hung over a balcony with them Twizzlers on his goddamn head. WAC 100 got into it with some, with some commenters, I guess, on his Instagram page. I'm guessing somewhere he put up a caption or maybe posted a video saying that Tupac wasn't a gangster. And he decided to clarify that and listen to what he had to say. Yo, listen. Everybody upset because I said Tupac wasn't a gangster. Let me repeat myself. I'm a Tupac fan, brought all his music, no half his music, boy for boy. But Tupac wasn't no gangster. He had gangsters around him. Pac was a revolutionary type guy. You know what I'm saying? On you know, some real shit, I don't know why y'all mad talking about I'm disrespecting. It is what it is. When a man died, he had $125,000 in his bank account. No property, no real estate. He ain't on his masters, none of that. You know, I say that to say this. Hopefully the young artists coming up now uh, learn from those mistakes. But he wasn't a gangster. You know what I'm saying? He didn't shoot two police. He shot at two white people who we let her learn were off-duty police. Let's get that right. Oh, y'all need to stop lying to yourself. Reality is reality, my nigga. Just like a nigga saying whack six foot five. Nigga, I'm five seven, two, two thirty, my nigga. That's just the truth, nigga. So I stand by what I say, nigga. He wasn't a gangster. He was a revolutionary, nigga. Pyro. All right, so let's talk about this. Now, I'm not sure if Wack 100 met Tupac. I don't think he did, okay? Now, he says that Tupac wasn't a gangster. He was a revolutionary. Then he also went on to say that Tupac died with only 200 something thousand dollars in his bank account with no property or anything like that. Now, that's heartbreaking to me because Tupac had some records before he died. I mean, he had All Eyes on Me. Like, that was released. And that thing was banging. So, man, Tupac only having $200,000 in his bank account. Crazy. The question is, was Tupac a gangster? We've seen a side where he's loving and he's saying nice things about women and trying to uplift them. We've seen video where he's talking about arts and crafts and this artsy stuff. We've seen video where he's like talking about freaking just ripping someone apart. We've seen the different sides of this man. Is Tupac all of that or is Tupac this fake? Me personally, I do believe that some of it was for entertainment. But then again, I do believe that he believed in what he said. And also, the money, the fame, and all that kind of stuff did change him. I do believe that later on in Tupac's life, when he was the number one rapper in the world, everyone loved him. All the gang members were, by his side, willing to do anything for him. People on the West Coast were willing to do anything for him. Money and power will change you sometimes, and it will turn you into a monster. And I do believe at some point, Tupac being in the surroundings of death row and probably felt unstoppable. So do I believe he was a gangster? I believe he became one. I don't believe he was always that. But then again, Tupac wasn't just a gangster or a thug. <laughs> Tupac was Tupac was a lot of things, man. In my opinion, what you guys see from Chris Brown right now is a glimpse of what happened to Tupac. If you look at Chris Brown when he first came into music, he was a clean cut guy singing bubblegum R&B. Once he gets on his own, he completely changes. He's doing drugs, allegedly, beating up Rihanna. Tattoos on his face, tattoos all over his body. Like, he's just completely changed. 
He's on the internet claiming he's blood. I mean, come on. The money, the fame, the things you see, your lifestyle, all these different things can definitely change you. And I do believe that Tupac was changed into a gangster. But at the same time, Tupac was a revolutionary. He was all of those things in one and not just one thing. So I refuse to define him as a gangster. I just think that Tupac was Tupac was a revolutionary. Like he said. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And I'm out.